Hey, sup everybody, BMS Lou here. Hope everyone's doing well. Interesting video here real quick. I wanted to cover a couple things that I am just finding out. So I recorded a video using the iOS 11's new screen recorder and uh, concerning a bug that I possibly found in that. Uh, however, when I recorded the video, uh, all the audio sounded great. Uh, the video looked good using the screen recorder in iOS 11. However, once I uploaded that video on YouTube, all of the audio was taken from that video. So I don't know if that's a YouTube issue or a screen recording issue in the software or if it is uh, some other type of an issue. So I just wanted to let you know here before I play that video, I'm going to have to go ahead and do a voiceover on that video as I'm doing this voiceover so you are aware of that bug that I came across as, a, as I was recording. Uh, so we're talking about two different bugs. One bug, the audio is not uploading to YouTube via using the screen recording app in iOS 11. That's the one bug. However, I'm going to go ahead and play here in just a couple seconds the video that I recorded talking about another bug that I found in the control center. So, sorry for this minute-long explanation, but I wanted to get this out there, so in case anybody else has these issues, uh, it's not just me. Um, anyway, here's that video. Uh, any questions, concerns, comments, please leave those below, and I'll be sure to get, get back to you. Alright, here we go. Alright guys, so here's my voiceover for the video that the audio didn't work with. Now, let's go on. As you can see on the screen recording, uh, through the control panel, we are recording. Uh, right here, it's flashing red, so we can obviously tell that it is working. Now, I wanted to let you know that if you hit that button and just tap it, it's going to stop the recording. What you need to do is do a hard press, which I'm going to do here in just a second. Uh, just a second here. We'll do a hard press, and that will bring up your options to uh, stop recording or turn on and off the microphone. So we'll go ahead and do that. You can see that I am trying to find really an app here. There should be another app in control panel that I don't have that I use all the time and that app would be the calculator app. What I'm doing here is going to the spotlight to search for my calculator app. Uh, if I could spell the calculator, here we go. Now I do have a tip calculator that I have also. I have that app, that app showing up through the search function but I don't have the normal calculator app and I had it previously in iOS 10 before I updated so I don't know where it went. I'm going through my phone sometimes I put them in different folders but the search function should have found it if it was in my rarities folder. I'm going to go ahead and go to my Apple folder apps folder as well because maybe it was in there but again spotlight should have found it with that search that I did. I'm going to go into the uh, settings control center here customize controls you'll notice that there is no list for a calculator. So don't know where the calculator went, but again, I had it in iOS 10. It's just gone because I use it all the time. So what I want to do is try to find out where did it go or how can I get it back? Uh, kind of got me to thinking the best thing to probably do is maybe go to the app store, which I'm doing here. I'm going to search for calculator. <clears throat> And you'll see that right there it is. Calculator is the second one down. It has the cloud uh, little icon there. So I tap that so I can reinstall the calculator app on my, on my iPhone, which really quick it does that. We'll go back to my home screen, and there's the calculator app. So now I need to figure out how I can get it so I can have it on my control panel. We'll go here. Again, it's not showing up in the, in the control panel, so I need to have it show up there. So I'll go back into Settings, Control Center, Customize Controls. We'll look for it again. We don't see it. And there it is at the bottom of the screen, Calculator. So we just hit that green plus symbol. Once we do that, it removes itself. We'll go back to the Control Center swiping up and as you can see it now is down here in the control center in the bottom right corner so there it is I don't know why I had to reinstall the calculator app I don't know if that's just a bug in iOS 11 or why it was removed but I definitely had it in iOS 10 previously 
to upgrading iOS 11. So again, we'll go into Customize Controls. You can see the calculator app is right there in pretty much the middle of the screen. It's in there, it's in my control center where I want it to be. So uh, yeah, I don't know if that was a bug or what, but um, hopefully this video found you guys well. Hopefully it will help uh, anybody else out there who may want to add an app in the control center that maybe they thought they had or if they want to add one. Uh, but yeah, I appreciate you guys watching. BMS Lou here, please check out my uh, channel. I'll do some more videos maybe on some iOS 11 stuff or iPhone stuff as I come across it And I'm just showing you here that the calculator does work. It's all good. So uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it We will talk to you soon Take care